The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Paul Heyman from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Weighing 286 pounds, the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Brock Lesnar. Let's see if this competitor can turn things around tonight. And approaching the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weight to 118 pounds, C. And oh. oh, listen to this place. Everybody's on their feet. I love this atmosphere. CM Punk heads into this match on an endless quest for respect. We don't see a Punk just wants what he feels is deserved. There's nothing wrong with that, Cole. And he gets back in. Back into the ring now. This could be huge. Oh, man. He landed right on his neck from that German suplex. Joints, elbows, ankles, wrists. Punk's just well versed when he's in control on the mat. Two. There's a good reason that's called a backbreaker. It can snap your spine. Three. And he's heading back inside the ring. Woo, a little showboating going on here. Brock Lesnar is just menacing. This might be, but he's still not through. A sharp kick. And again, the feet fly. Oh, set flying off the apron. Playing mind games. Yeah, a little intimidation Two. there. Ooh, a little showboating going on here. No! Using every part of this arena as a weapon. Oh, Cole, I gotta tell you, one of the most memorable periods of Brock Lesnar's career for me was the incredible battle with Triple H at WrestleMania 29. The Beast Incarnate versus The Game in a no-holds-barred match at WrestleMania. That was a war like no other. Two. Oh. And he's forced back in the ring. And he reversed it. Good move there. And he gets tossed back in the ring. Beautiful counter from Brock Lesnar there. There he goes, out of the ring. Restored here. He was one step ahead on that one. And we're going back between the ropes. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. He is slowly getting dissected. I don't know what's going to happen here. Ah, and he escapes the hole. his way out. After all of these shots to the head, I've got a feeling that Soup's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable future. There can be no question that CM Punk has in his arsenal one of the most devastating finishers in WWE, the Anaconda Vice. Now, it's an absolutely debilitating chokehold, and we've seen Punk break some of the toughest performers in the business with it. CM Punk gathering attention in a hurry. Look 
at CM Punk here. Look at CM Punk pouring on the aggression. Oh, no! Oh! Oh! The Anaconda Vice finisher of CM Punk that we're talking about has some international flavor to it. It borrows a little bit from Judo, a little bit from Jiu-Jitsu, but it doesn't matter where Punk got it. All that matters now is that he knows how to use it. Well, it's all about positioning when it comes to the Anaconda, and CM Punk is such a great positional performer. He knows exactly how to set his man up for that finisher and put him in an absolutely helpless situation. Playing my games. Yeah, a little intimidation there. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. Whoa! He's measuring. Shoulders down. Two. Three. Brock Lesnar gets the win in an impressive fashion. Well, let's take a look at some of those highlights. And here's some highlights from the matchup. Here is your winner, Brock Lesnar. Man, what a contest. We definitely just witnessed one for the ages.